Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another What's in the Box video. Um, I went picking today, found some cool stuff and thought I'd share it in this video with you. So let's um, get some really neat things. I'm going to show some, I did actually find some axes this time, which that's always a benefit when, you know, when I go out is if I actually find some axes. So I found some axes. So let's take a look at a couple of those. So we got a jersey here. This one is a Man Edge Tool Company, Lewistown, PA. Really neat. Good shape. Not a bad looking axe. Love finding jerseys. Another one. And this one, I think, is a sticker True Temper. There's, there's no visible markings on it anywhere, but I believe it's a sticker True Temper. Another jersey, as you can see by the lobe here. It's a pretty cool axe. All right. And then you got a True Temper Kelly Perfect. Pretty cool axe. Love finding True Temper Kelly Perfects. This one's in really good condition, actually. It looks, you know, it looks a little bit rough, but it is in good condition. So it'll clean up nice. And True Temper Kelly Perfect. Nice looking axe. And then I got a couple, got a couple more axes I'm going to show at the very end too, that I think are really cool. Found this. Really neat Germantown ball peen hammer. See the Germantown right there. Nice handles in good shape. So beautiful tool. It's gonna clean up nice. Make a good user for somebody. This is another neat one. This is a lakeside claw hammer. There you go. See that logo in there? Lakeside. It's pretty neat. Uh, Lakeside Claw Hammer. That's another nice one. It's going to need a new handle, but not bad. Got Did find a couple hatches today. This one is an anniversary. So, it's in good shape. The handle's in pretty good shape, too. So, should be able to uh, do something nice with this one. Could make a nice hatchet. And this one's really neat. This is a Madol hammer. Um, Madol, there's a there's a pretty big. You can see the Madol logo there. Or maybe you can. Let's get that in a little bit closer. So, made all. There's a pretty good following for vintage made all hammers. So, usually when I post one of these up for sale, I usually get lots of comments and usually get a lot of interest in made all hammers. So, pretty cool. One, one thing I always love to find is belt buckles. You can see that one there. Nice car on it. Pretty cool. This one's looks to, looks to be. If it's not solid brass, it's probably brass. It's got a heavy brass plating on it. It's pretty nice. There's another one. You know the Reading lines, train belt buckle. Train belt buckles are always really neat to find, and you know as you can see, made in the USA too. That's that's always key. So. But this one's really cool. The Redding Lines. So, pretty cool. This is another one. Let's see, D Pierce Transportation. Don't know what that is, but this belt buckle was never worn. It is virtually brand new. Really cool. Nice truck on the front of it. So, pretty cool. Like it. And then I found this one, and this is a boxcar Willie belt buckle. I mean, seriously, who doesn't love boxcar Willie? 
really cool. It's in fairly decent shape. Needs a little bit of cleanup, but this will make a a nice wearable belt buckle for somebody down the line. But boxcar willy belt buckle, pretty cool. I love finding brass locks. This one's not a super valuable one, but it is solid brass. It's in good shape. Somebody started cleaning it up already, obviously. And it has the keys with it. So it came with keys. You know, the lock's not really any good without keys, but pretty cool. Rust win and the keys. Very nice. We sell these really, really well on our inner Etsy shop and on our website. Anytime we put brass locks up, they go pretty fast. pair of lineman's pliers these are made in germany and i believe these might be from right after world war ii maybe in the early 50s but they say made in germany right in here so and they will clean up nice i actually just sold a pair just like this this week so these are pretty neat didn't pay much for them they're in good shape and Pretty nice. It's a cool item. So we got a snap-on half-inch drive socket wrench or ratchet, whatever you want to call it. It's in fairly good condition. The switch is needed some work. Somebody stuck a cotter pin in here, but it does work. And we'll probably blow this apart, clean it up, and then we'll figure out a fix for that. But Pretty cool, and this is a very old snap-on. So, pretty cool though. Snap-on, ratchet, or socket wrench. Pretty cool. Got this old Stanley hammerhead. And I only paid a couple dollars for this, but the key to this is, if you look really closely, there's all these little stamp marks in here. Well, that's actually a keystone stamp all right and there's some on the back side too all in it but this is from the pennsylvania railroad so there's one stamp here that you can see prr in it so that's what makes this even though it is an older stanley hammer it what makes it significant is it's a pennsylvania railroad stanley hammer pretty cool nice find very inexpensive and there's a lot of railroad collectors out there. And this will go right in somebody's railroad collection, probably. Nice find. Here's an, another cool hammer. This is a Germantown. And this is actually an older Germantown. And it says Germantown right here. See that? Germantown. And then it says solid cast steel underneath. So this is definitely an older Germantown. Really neat. Neat Germantown head. This is going to clean up nice. And it'll make a nice user hammer. Pretty cool find. There's another, another really cool find. So this is a Tough Boy Master. Inside the um, Tough Tape and Rule. Excuse me. It's a Tough Boy Tape and Rule. And it's made by the Master Rule Manufacturing. So you can see that right there. Master Rule Manufacturing. And if you look inside the box, which is very rare to find a vintage tape measure with the original box. But then you find the tape measure. So you got a tough boy. And it, just a little bit of cleaning. This is going to be a really nice tape measure. The tape is in really good shape. Just needs a little bit of cleaning. But find this with the original box. Really neat find. There you have it, that was really cool. And then the last two items that we have, so this hatchet, if you look there, so this is a Plum Victory. So if you see there, it says Plum Victory on it. So you got a Plum Victory hatchet. They call this a carpenter's hatchet, or a half hatchet, or a carpenter's half hatchet, whatever you wanna call it. All right, that's a really neat item. Plum started making this line of tools at the end of World War II to celebrate victory in World War II. 
So that's where these came from. And really neat. I love finding victory items. This one's got a great handle on it. The head's in really good shape. You see there. So this is gonna be a this is gonna end up being a really nice item. And this one's probably gonna go into our pile for a legacy restore. And it'll get the works. It'll get leather and everything. So this one's a really cool find. And then I got one more. <clears throat> and so we got a hatchet and we got a plum victory jersey axe. So really cool find. You can see right there. It says plum victory on it. Really neat find. Got a plum victory jersey. It's in good shape. It's definitely been used, but it's in good shape. And just a neat find. Really like finding these things. And there you go. That was today's finds. Really, really appreciate everybody stopping by the channel today, checking out today's finds. Found some really neat stuff. Always love picking. Picking is one of my favorite things to do. If you like what you see here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we will see you on the next What's in the Box video. Thanks for watching.